live from Gene Autry Way. Welcome to Angel Stadium. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Miami Marlins and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway and on the hill, Patrick Sandoval. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Three, two. And it's ball four. He missed down low. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Jorge Soler up at the plate. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Luis Arise stands in. Next offering is down low. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. 2-2 Two -two on the way. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. That's in there. Now one and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, on the hill here today, Yuri Perez. Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So, on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. Bottom of the first. So, in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak checks his swing. Appeal down to third. He went around, according to Carl Dixon. And a 1 2. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. And now the count filled up three and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gathers and throws to first. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And, Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. That's to third. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Batting third. The designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the DH for the Angels, Shohei Otani. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. 
Otani tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Angels held in check. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Brian De La Cruz. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. And a pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one down. Gene Segura at the plate here. Snap throw to first, and he's back in safely. Dela Cruz leads off first with one away. The next offering misses. It's two and two. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. In the air, right field. Monia makes a nice running catch. Here's the catcher to hit, Nick Fortes. And that one hammered. Trout ranges back, looking up, and that one is out of here. A towering shot to center, third home run of the season, and the Marlins jump out in front. It's 2-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So two away with nobody on. Here's Garrett Hampson. Bounce to the right side, and it right. goes just foul. And the next pitch is way outside. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in Anaheim, bottom of the inning. And here is Brandon Drury. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Ball to strike. The pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Gets it to first. And a quick out number one. Batting fit. The first baseman. Jared. So digging in, Jared Walsh. One down, base is empty. And one and two. Wow. One ball. Good luck two catching strikes. up to that one. Two, 
down and in, moved his feet. Comes a 2-2. Blows the high heat, passed him, that's a strikeout. Went right after him there, singing, no messing around. Three pitches right there, three really good fastballs in that at bat, but what stood out is all of them in a different part of the zone. He started them away, you look out over the plate as a hitter, and then he busts you in, you're not quick enough to be able to pull the trigger and turn on it, and then he finished up in the zone. Good velocity, caught the top part of that strike zone. That's a great example of how you mix your locations. Just as important as mixing speeds. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that extends the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. And a ground ball to first. Inning over. Angels leave one, and they're down 2 nothing. New inning getting started. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis. Ball to strike. Ground ball left side. Sends it to Walsh and one away in the top of the third. So up next, Jorge Soler. His first at bat was a strikeout. That's Next pitch three. misses, three and one. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it, so that's a good take by him. Nope. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Luis Arias, the next up for the Marlins. Next pitch has popped up, two down. And now, now Garrett Hall. Cooper Designated struck hitter. out swinging Garrett his first time. Cooper. Two and one now. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Solaire off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Out number three. Marlins leave one, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back here at Angel Stadium, now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. No left fielder. The 2 1. Out to short, Segura. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Not shortstop. Levon Soto getting ready to hit. Three, two on the way. Lifted in the air, right center field. And it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, those kind of lucky no soft hits Number will always 15. make you smile. As a hitter, there's not a whole lot better of a feeling than a double into the gap. Right off the bat, you know you put a great swing on the baseball. One ball. Now, here is Mickey Moniak.
battling here as he fouls it away. And now it's even up. Good, Good miss ball. with that change Good up track. away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. And it's filled up. Swing and a miss struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that Number location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now batting Mike Trout. He's over one. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. They're going crazy in the dugout, and they add a pair. It's 2-2. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh. And a ball evens the count. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Mike Trout doing Mike Trout things. 2-2 Two -two game. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Brian De La Cruz. In for a strike. Now it's 3-2. and two. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Guriel. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Guriel. On the ground and foul ball. The pitch. Nope, and now the count the is even. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Now it's the shortstop, Gene Segura. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Swing and a miss. And a count two one and two. And he deals. That one missing inside. Two down, nobody on. That one missed. Okay. This one in the air center field. Trout is there. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Miami down in order. And this game is still tied at two and two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now the angel cleanup hitter, Brandon Drury. The two one. 
And downstairs. You know, these Angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Oh, he gloves it. That ball was ticketed for right center field all the way, but not so fast, the second baseman says. Leaps up into the air and brings it down. Some nice hang time as well when he was up there. At the play, Jared Walsh. And now two and one. Next one misses three and one now. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Now batting. Third base. Man at first with one gone. Gio Urshela steps in. One for one with a single so far. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a count one and two. At the belt and fires. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. And a pitch. Three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Walsh leads off first with one away. This one popped up right side. And that'll get down for a hit. Throw into third. He's in there. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. And there's a the ball. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And that's ripped for a base hit. One runs in. Here comes Urshela around third. Arrives with a relay throw. Slide save. And they lead by two. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And next for L.A., Levon Soto. Singled and scored his first time. Strike two. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Davis pulls it in on the run. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 4-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. And now the catcher comes up to him, Nick Fortes. Here's a 1-1. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Sends it to Walsh. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The third baseman, number one, Garrett Hampson. Down the third baseman, Garrett Hampson. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Swing and a miss. 3 and 2 now. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty. But he settled into a really nice groove. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. 
Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now batting Jonathan Davis. Got him. Two gone. Jorge Soler will hit next. He's 0 for 1. And a 1 1. And misses inside. Here's a 2 1. And that one fouled off. And now two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. On the ground at first. He handles it himself. That's out number three. One left for Miami. They trail it here. Four to two. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. 1-1 one, one now. And a foul ball. You know, these Angels doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. In time to Guriel. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The center field, number 27. Here's Mike Trout. He's already homered here in this one. And here it comes. Fights that one away, still one and two. And it's even up. Good eye right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Number 33 gets handed the rock out of the pen. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Wind in the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. That misses the zone. Full count, three and two. That's hard hit in the line. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And that's a two out double. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Brandon Drury to the plate. And that one almost got him. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Next pitch downstairs. And now it's three and two. Jared Walsh up next for the Angels. So now two on and two outs. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. 
And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. The 1 1. Pop up here, third base side. Segura drifts towards it. He makes the grab. And that is that. Nice work from the Miami Pen there. Five innings complete. Angels four and the Marlins two. Jacob Webb will take over here. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Activity in the bullpen. Aaron Liu preparing to come on if needed. Next pitch is downstairs. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Makes the grab on the run. One away. That was a good oh, hard fastball hard. with some nice so ride up in the zone right yeah, there. Right. Hitter looked Keep like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Sometimes a hitter will go up there and guess, and it's not just pulling something out of the sky, but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location. He just guessed wrong. Two two now. In the dirt. Sends it to Walsh. And that quickly, two away. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Next to hit, Brian De La Cruz. The 2 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The 2 2. Popped up. Soto on the move. He's got it. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. 6 7 8 2 in the bottom of the sixth. Angels 4 and the Marlins 2. Bottom of the six. So in now for the Angels, Gio Urshela. And a ball and two strikes. That's, That's down and in. Movement in the bullpen. Steven Oker appears to be getting loose. On the ground, right side. Arise on to first. Leadoff man retired in the six. Now batting, catcher. Matt. Matt Theis, the next to hit for the Angels. And a payoff pitch. Three. Caught him looking for the K. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Angels go quietly there, but they still lead this one 4-2. to two. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. And at the plate for Miami, Yuli Gurriel. 
The wind of the pitch. Missed inside with the curve. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And there's ball four. Leading off for Miami. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Matt Moore. He's pitching on two days rest. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Here's a one two. And that's outside. Guriel gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch inside, and that's ball three. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Kicks and fires. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Out of here. His second home run of the game, and we are all tied up. It's 4-4. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's the third baseman, Garrett Hampson. Here comes a pitch. <laughs> Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Kicks and deals. In the air, right field. Moniac moving back for this one. Squeezes it. And there's two down. Here's the center fielder, Jonathan Davis. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Yeah next offering is down low I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense especially at a premier position and that's what he does two balls and a strike here nope. comes started to swing held up the hitting's going to come around he's going to figure it out but right now his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense and now it's filled up Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. It's now tied 4-4. You're dialed into the show. So a lefty out of the pen, Steven Oker. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. So in now for the Angels, Levon Soto, one for two. Not shortstop. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. He goes down looking. Well, that's great execution of the pitch right there, and the battery working together. Catcher does a nice job to present that to the umpire and get that call third strike.
Swing and a miss. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Tied at four. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the grab for the second out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. Mark. Well. Two outs. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Swings and misses, struck him out. And the Angels are gone in order. Still all square at four apiece. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Aaron Liu. He last pitched two days ago. Jorge Soler now at the plate. and misses it's a strikeout well he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before felt like he should have had him looking I think but you know that's good composure right there he found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss and up next for Miami Luis arrives good contact guy good defender next offering is fouled back Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Stepping in, Garrett Cooper. So now one and two. <laughs> And that one missing low. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Marlins. This game's all tied at four. Back here at Angel Stadium. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Shohei Otani. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Left hand batter waits. That one fouled off, two and two. And another ball. Brandon Drury waiting for a turn at the plate. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. 
So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That misses. Two balls, two, two strikes. Balls, two strikes. And that one upstairs. Jared Walsh on deck for the Angels. Three two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me written all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And now here is Jared Walsh. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Angels held in check. Score remains tied at four. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Carlos Estevez. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Righty delivers. Smoked in the left field, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. 112 miles per hour, the ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing, so that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And ball four to a board. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Go ahead, run on base. Now, Gene Segura. The count two and one. And that bunted towards third. Over to second for one. And he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Fortes. And everyone is thinking the same thing right now. Yeah, they're thinking, will he do it again? He's already homer twice, and most recently in the seventh. This guy's left a huge mark on this game. As well as on the baseball. Next pitch is outside. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Garrett Hampson next to hit for the Marlins. Next pitch is popped up. Drury settles under it. Two down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're eye level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Birdie on third. Segura at first, two out of the inning. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Two left on. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. And we are tied 4 4. So coming into the game now on defense, John Birdie. He'll be out in left field. Matt Barnes gets the nod out of the bullpen. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Next offering upstairs. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Dylan Floro up and loosening in the pen. That misses. And a count is three and one. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Solaire calls it in, one away. 
Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Here's a 1-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. a one-two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward, one for three. Trying to send this extra innings. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. The next pitch misses, counts full, three and two. Levon Soto up next for the Angels. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Jaime Berea on the pitch here. Now at the plate, Jonathan Davis. And the right hander deals. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. That's off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. Bullpen activity starting up now. Dylan Floro is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Shagwa getting cranked up as well. 2-2 two, two down. On the ground, right side. Sends it to Walsh. One away in the top half of the 10. Jorge Soler, the next up for the Marlins. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tags from third. He'll score on the sack fly. And it's now 5-4. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough. And that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Three. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters. Throws him for strike three. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. Marlins five and the Angels four. Dylan Floro comes out trying to close it out. Well, one run game. So in now for the Angels, Levon Soto. The 1-1. One -one. Fought off foul. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their key. One and two now. Hard ground ball, base down. Wolf headed for the plate. The throw in, but it's offline. He will score. All tight again, 5-5. Five, five. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there, he doesn't try to do too much. And now the right fielder, Mickey Moniak, puts a bunt down. The rise. Now the throw to first on the run. One out, the bottom of the 10. Here's Trout. He's already homered in this game. Runner leads away at second. On the ground to third. Hampson on the first. And that is out number two. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice okay. job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Shohei Otani. The pitch. 
So a big opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning. Yeah, and you know they're eager to cash in. You just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake. Got to play this smart. Winning run and scored position with two away. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We're in extras here, and now here's the Marlins DH, Garrett Cooper. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Got him! Now one away. John Birdie at the plate. Getting his first plate appearance here in extra innings. He entered the game as a pinch runner. Line drive. That's a base hit. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. It's offline, and he scores. And it's 6-5. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure. Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like Birdie runs. Fouls it off, still one and two. Birdie, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Pickoff throw. Birdie oh. back in on a dive. One, two. Nope. And that one That's off ball. the outside edge. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. The pitch. Got him swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the bottom of the 11th. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. All to strike, the pitch, and a swing and a miss. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Birdie moving under this one. Puts it away for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. That's ripped into the outfield. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Coming home. He will score. And the Angels even it up. 6-6. Six, six. Picks himself up at RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. Really important at bat coming up now. New pitcher on here, JT Shagwa. Here's Gio Urshela. Number 84. Swing and a miss. And a pitch. Got him! Now two away. And next for the Angels, Matt Theis.
Man at second. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. Winning run stands at second. That one in for a strike, two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. I'm so glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Two two now. In the air, left field down the line, and it's a foul ball. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Rip to short. Zips it to first, beats him to the bag, and that means we're playing 12. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And we're all even now at six apiece. It's major. All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Marlins, Nick Fortes. In the air right field, Monia drifts towards it, brings it in, and there's one down. And at the play for Miami, Garrett Hampson. There's a 1-1. To third. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. The pitch. In the dirt, two balls, two strikes. Move to second. Segura dives back in. Next pitch misses, full count now. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up if they can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. And here is Jonathan Davis. Swing and a drive. Left field. And that is gone. He sends a rocket to left. And that gives him a lead. It's 8 6. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Chris Davinsky comes on now. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Oh, that stings right there. He was just one out away from going back to his seat in the dugout, but instead, he's going to have to face another test. Hopefully, he can forget about the one that got away. Look, have you forgotten about the one that got away? Solaire leads off first with two down to the inning. He's had a tough day at the plate, three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Two-run shot for Miami this inning. It's now 8-6. Back after this on the show.
bottom of the inning. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. Yeah, we pulling up, kicking in the front. An interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. At the belt and fires. Towards first. Guriel takes it himself. One up, one down. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game no like this. Positioned perfectly. So digging in, Levon Soto. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Bounced up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. Runner from third in to score. And they trail by one. Big time at bat right there. Comes through and they're back within a run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Digging in. Mickey Moniak. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Solaire settles underneath it. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Now only one out remaining. Angels down to their final out. And a batter down. Mike Trout. This guy with light tower power. The 1-1. He swings and fouls one off. The one two stays alive. Down to their final strike. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, when you go on a road trip, if you're looking to play 500 or better, and the only way you do that is when you scratch and claw and you grind out. And they did that in this one. 12 inning win on the road. Very impressive. And guys are going to come into the clubhouse for the next game. They're going to be pretty encouraged about how they pulled for each other. And a final, 8 to 7. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. now is our final line score for this afternoon. First for the victorious Miami Marlins. Eight runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Angels, seven runs on nine hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.